Good day, everyone! Welcome back to school! How are you today? Teacher Lei is here, your teacher explorer. I know you're excited to learn something new, but before that, here are some rules to follow. First, be honest. Second, be attentive. And third, follow directions. I'm sure you're ready, so come and hop along! For today's lesson, you're expected to describe the appearance of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. I know that you have already learned the different phases of matter in your early years in school. Let's find out if you can still remember this lesson. For your task number one, look at the pictures and tell of what phase of matter it belongs. They say breakfast is the most important meal in a day. Some may have milk, others may have fried rice, or maybe scrambled egg, or cereal, or others may have coffee too. All of these things are mixtures. In fact, almost all of the things around us are made of mixtures. Take note, I said almost all are mixtures because some are what we call pure substances. Pure substances cannot be broken down. They are what we call the elements and compounds. Some examples of elements are oxygen and helium. And for compounds, we have carbon dioxide, water, and salt. When you combine pure substances, you'll get a mixture. What do we mean by mixture? Let's elaborate. Mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances or objects which are physically combined. This can either be a combination of solid and another solid, solid and liquid, gas and liquid, liquid with another liquid, and gas with another gas. Mixtures are classified into two groups. The homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures are also called as uniform mixture. They have only one appearance because the particles are usually distributed evenly. Homogeneous mixture can either be in liquid, like soda and coffee, or solid form, like steel bars. Some examples for these are coffee, soda, steel bars, and alloy. Now, let's talk about heterogeneous mixtures, also called as non-uniform mixture. The individual substances or components are recognizable and remain distinct. The composition of a heterogeneous mixture does not blend throughout. Some other examples of heterogeneous mixtures are fruit salad, milk tea, and pizza. It's recap time! Remember? Mixtures are materials that are made up of two or more different substances or objects, which are physically combined. They are classified into two groups, 
homogeneous mixtures, and heterogeneous mixtures. Let's see if you learned something. Identify if the mixture is homogeneous or heterogeneous mix. Some mixtures are helpful, while some are harmful. It's up for you to decide on what type of mixture you're going to make. Remember, be careful in using mixtures. Thanks for watching!